The World Economic Forum has been quietly granted backdoor access to billions of cell phones as part of a plot to compile blacklists of users who hold politically incorrect views and commit wrong speak. According to a World Economic Forum insider, these blacklists of so-called deplorables will be used to assign social credit scores to people before the social credit scheme is officially rolled out in the next few years. Klaus Schwab's evil plan is playing out to perfection in France, where WEF puppet Emmanuel Macron has granted the global elite permission to spy on every single French citizen by turning on the camera and microphones of their cell phones without a warrant or any kind of notification. Before we dive in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the People's Voice Locals community to support the channel and gain access to uncensored content. The link is in the description box below this video. Riots have rocked France for weeks now now, with thousands of buildings destroyed, libraries and museums torched, and Christians publicly raped and murdered across the entire country. French police and the mainstream media can't even keep track of which towns have been totally burned to the ground. The chaos in France is coming to America. If anybody thinks it's not, they're delusional. How do we know the chaos is coming to America? Because it's orchestrated by the elite. Klaus Schwab warned us to get ready for an angrier world, and it has now become clear exactly why he wants to rule over a divided society. We will see definitely a lot of anger uh, already now, but probably increase by the end of the year, uh, because this crisis will be with us until we really have found a remedy. So um, we have to prepare for a more angry world. The riots have given Schwab's puppet president, Macron, the excuse to quietly roll out the most invasive surveillance law ever enacted anywhere outside of George Orwell's worst nightmares. France's WF penetrated parliament has voted to approve the new clause in the Justice Reform Bill, allowing police to turn on the cameras and microphones in a host of smart devices belonging to citizens for up to six months for the crime of wrongthink. This is the exact replica of the surveillance apparatus deployed in China to ensure social obedience and deference to the communist central government. This should come as no surprise as Schwab has been praising the Chinese social credit score system for years and declaring that it's a model for the West. A good score brings you benefits, while a low score gets you blacklisted. You can't get a decent job, book tickets or a hotel room, and your children can't even attend a good school. Your life can be switched off at any time. A good score brings benefits, but people with low scores lose rights. The cinema names and shames people considered untrustworthy, plastering their details, even their addresses, across big screens. It's a matter of principle. Those people have to be condemned. Those people aren't honest, so they have to pay the price. It's only right to pay your debts. You have to blacklist those that don't. The Supreme Court has created a blacklist for so-called bad citizens, those whose ratings have dropped to zero. On it are companies, but also 23 million people to date. Among them is this journalist Liu Hu. He got a little too close to uncovering corruption among high-profile party members. After being sued for defamation by the subject of a story he'd written, he was blacklisted. He only realized when he tried to buy a train ticket and was told he was banned from traveling. That tells me I'm still on the blacklist. Punished because he's been branded untrustworthy by the state. Mm. Once you're blacklisted, you can no longer get a bank loan, start a business, buy an apartment, or even send your children to a private school. This future is just two years away for the citizens of WF penetrated France. After this quick break, we'll explain exactly how we know this and what we can do to fight back. But first, an important word from our sponsor. The globalist elite have admitted that they want to bankrupt us, and now they're making their move. The government have been given permission to print as much money as they want. The last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. The Biden regime claims that this has saved America's economy, but all they did is ensure the US dollar gets devalued even further. With the BRICS nations working together to create a new global reserve currency, the threats to the US dollar are just getting stronger. The only ones who aren't afraid are those who invested in gold with noble gold investments. Gold is the one asset that has proven to withstand recession, inflation, and just about all economic threats. Noble Gold Investments is here to help if you want to invest in gold. Click the link below this video to secure your wealth now and get a 24 karat quarter of an ounce gold standard coin for free. 
noblegoldinvestments.com is the only gold company I trust. Thin-skinned Macron, who was selected by the WEF, not elected, has already started how he intends to go on, prosecuting anybody he catches insulting him. While his wife sues anybody who dares to publish the results of a three-year independent investigation into a shady history. This is the sorry state of affairs in a WEF-penetrated country. France has fallen, and things will only get worse until the people reclaim the nation's sovereignty. It's not as though Schwab failed to warn us about his plan to eradicate privacy and destroy the lives of anybody who opposed the globalist agenda. Schwab spoke to the French media and told French citizens that if they have nothing to hide from the global elite, then they have nothing to be afraid of. In this new world, we must accept a transparency, and I would say even a total transparency, the secret bancaire. Tout va être transparent. Et il faut s'habituer, il faut se comporter ainsi. Ça devient, comment dirais-je, intégré dans votre personnalité, mais si on n'a rien à cacher, euh, il ne faut pas avoir peur. Schwab has created a reality for French people in which they are under constant surveillance and they must be on their best behaviour, using politically correct language, correct pronouns and avoiding wrong think at all times, or else they'll be put on a list and punished in the future. You've heard of cancel culture, in which somebody can lose their job, their livelihood, their family for something they posted on social media years ago. The WEF are now going to hold this kind of power over everybody, based on everything they've ever said within earshot of their cell phone and devices. This is exactly the kind of authoritarian evil that George Orwell warned us about. And in case you think it's only happening in France, think again. In the UK, police officers are now explaining why they can arrest and imprison you for using the wrong pronouns. Today is International Pronouns Day, which is a day particularly important to people who identify as transgender or gender non-conforming. Being misgendered can have a huge impact on somebody and their personal well-being. It also can be used as a form of abuse for somebody, and that just isn't right. Today is about raising awareness, getting people to have conversations, and understanding why it is so important to understand the pronouns that somebody wishes to be used for them. Have a good day. I'm not sure I can have a good day after being threatened with prison time over my use of pronouns. Free speech is no longer under attack. It's being trampled on by the global elite's jackboots. The globalist elite have been carefully planning the attack on humanity for decades. The Illuminati card game, released in 1982, predicted this eventuality with chilling accuracy. The moral from this dangerous nightmare situation is a simple one. Don't let it happen. It depends on you. Here at The People's Voice, we have uncovered a legal loophole, allowing French citizens to opt out of this Orwellian new law. In the small print of the bill, the Macron regime has prohibited itself from spying on journalists. Therefore, we are inviting you to become a legally accredited citizen journalist with The People's Voice today. Visit journalists.thepeoplesvoice.tv to join for free. As one of the leading and fastest growing independent media outlets in the world, we are proud to announce that we are onboarding French citizens who want to legally protect themselves from intrusive government surveillance by registering as an accredited journalist with The People's Voice. By quickly registering for free at journalists.thepeoplesvoice.tv, you can also join our news team as a citizen journalist and submit tips, videos or articles to our newsroom to help us report on what's really happening in the world. Here at The People's voice we are determined to continue exposing the crimes of the globalist elite but we need your help subscribe to the channel spread this video far and wide and join the people's voice locals community for exclusive and uncensored content the link is underneath this video i hope to see you there